He has joined you to him. In your baptism, you went into the grave with him. And in your baptism, you came out with him alive. One with him. His life given you in the water to be your life. His incorruptible life. But with him, that's never enough. And so he sends out his servants to proclaim his promises to you. Promises that cannot fail. They are as sure and certain as his rising from the grave in incorruption. Incorruptible promises to make you partakers of his divine nature. This is how St. Peter put it. His divine power has granted to us all things that pertain to life and godliness through the knowledge of him who called us to his own glory and excellence by which he granted us his precious and very great promises so that through them you may become partakers of the divine nature, having escaped the corruption that is in the world because of sinful desire. The promises of the incorruptible one impart to you incorruption, make you a sharer in his divine nature, so that all that belongs to him by nature, he gives to you by grace. He a child of the Father, you a child of the Father. He the Lord of heaven, you the Lord of heaven. All that is his becomes yours. But with him, there is always more. It is not enough for him to baptize you into his own indestructible life. Not enough for him to arrange that his promises be spoken to you to impart incorruption to you through faith. He goes further. He has more. His love has no limit. He has a meal for you. He wants to put into your corruptible, dying, sinful bodies his incorruptible, undying, sinless body and blood for your forgiveness and for your life. He wants to unite you to himself, to strengthen the bonds of your faith, to comfort you, to hold you, to still you in all of your anxieties and fears. He wants you to know with certainty that just as death was not the end of him, death is not going to be the end of you. He wants you to know that you have a life that's stronger than all the death in this world. Old Job could go to his grave in the confidence that his Redeemer lived that on the other side of corruption, as he put it, yes, the worms eat my body, on the other side of corruption, he would live again. And in his own flesh, he would see with his own eyes God. And as he thought of it, his heart burned within him. We see more than Job. For we have known the Redeemer for whom he waited. We have known his triumph over death and the grave. And we know that not a single word of his ever proves false. So, beloved, since Christ our Passover lamb has been sacrificed, let us keep the feast. Away with the leavened bread of malice. Away with the leavened bread of evil. Let us welcome the unleavened bread 